Hey guys, a few of you have asked for uh, some sound bites of the uh, new guitar that I picked up from uh, Will Shea over this last weekend from Shea Guitars. So uh, Will made a uh, double cut uh, Les Paul Jr. style guitar for us and uh, we were able to spec out kind of how we wanted it to go including color and uh, pickup combinations and things like that. So Will does a real nice job of capturing the things that you want to get in your guitar and then uh, really translating it well. So we had asked for a honey burst single cut with a nice satiny finish on it. So it's a swamp ash body. Uh, the, the green on here is really, really pretty. Uh, front and back is just delightful. I mean, we're really, really happy with the way that turned out. Uh, the back of the neck is, is just stunning, in my opinion. Uh, with the, the flames on here are just beautiful, uh, just like a nice tiger stripe, really. Uh, the back of the headstock looks really nice. Did a nice job with the fit on there. We really like his, uh, his headstock. I like the offset top on here to go correspond with the, uh, with the shea on there. And of course, his logo was really cool. Uh, it's made of the bone nut. Uh, the fretwork is really nice. The fretboard is really, really solid. Feels really great. And then the, the neck shape is more of a C-shaped neck. It's not super thick, not, not real baseball batty like a, like a 52 uh, Tele kind of thing. It's, it's a little bit slimmer than that, but it's still got enough to get your hand on. And it's got a little bit of an offset to it. So uh, really kind of, when, when you lay your hand on here and your thumb across here, you've got a little bit of a, a, little bit of a bias on the back side of the neck. And it feels really comfortable in your hand when you go to grab chords and you go to wrap around. So really nice guitar. Uh, this has uh, Greenville pickups. Uh, Pleasure Garden P90s in it. Uh, Will asked us to provide these for him with, uh, with chrome covers so that it would uh, kind of separate itself from a, from a Gibson. So he's not trying to make a Gibson clone. He wants guitars that look like their own thing. And uh, so I thought, the, I thought the chrome pickups kind of were a nice little touch. Uh, wrap around tailpiece. So it's got the four, uh, four controls with the tones and, uh, and the volumes. And of course, the three way pickup selector switch. Uh, again, the fit and finish is really nice on the guitar. Uh, the grain on the wood is really nice. It's a really nice job with the selection and stuff. Uh, so you guys had asked for some for some uh, uh, sound samples of what the guitar sounds like, so I'll try to do that for you here. I'll play a few chords. Uh, this is uh, run through my Dr. Z uh, Monza. Uh, just a little bit of gain on it, nothing, nothing real crazy. And then I'll go through each of the uh, pickup combinations. So this is, um, we're going to start off with the bridge, with the bridge pickup, so... Position. Of course, they're hum canceling. They're wound opposite polarity, opposite uh, opposite magnets, so that uh, you, get, you get just about dead silence in the, in the middle pickup. <laughs> balance really nice together, the little bit brighter bridge and then a little bit darker uh, neck pickup so the, the tone is really nice in the middle position and uh, of course the hum canceling is always really nice too. Uh, but I like using that position a lot because um, it gives me a little bit of both of the best of the both worlds here, having the, having the thicker sounds from the, the neck position and then a little bit brighter bite from the, from the bridge. Um, the, the neck pickup is underwound so we, we underwind almost all of our neck pickups. A little bit because we like to have a little bit brighter sound out of the out of that position on the uh, on the pickup selector switch. So I like to be able to go to my go to my neck pickup and not not totally mud out or drop right out of the mix because the uh, it's so muddy or so dark sounding. I like it to be singy. I like that sustainy feel that you get out of the neck pickup, but I like it to still cut through a little bit and uh, still give it still give you the tone that, that, that you want so let's go to that and check that out a little bit so you can hear here it's not it's not super muddy definitely a little beefier still plenty of top end left and 
of course the sustaining is really nice and you get the, get that nice nice cry out of the uh, like the 12th fret <laughs> Anyway, if you have any more questions, hey, hit me up. I'd be happy to try to answer them for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys. See ya.